Aloha, Richard Halverson here, and uh, this is ITS 128. And I thought I'd go over one of the uh, one of the projects in Chapter Nine, where if you were actually to make your output like it dis it shows that your output should be, uh, you'll get it wrong. And so I'm going to do the assignment and uh, show you how to correct it to make it so you get all the points. All right. So if we look at um, uh, if you open up your Pearson, uh, you you end up here, uh, which is that the, the uh, we are in this at December twelfth is is the day that I'm making this video. Um, we need to go back to chapter nine, so I'm going to click on table of contents over here on the left, and I'm going to scroll down to chapter nine. And in chapter nine, we can we can see uh, like for example in nine point two we we uh, are able to access the, uh, the, the three quizzes. I'm just pointing this out to you uh, in case some of you are having trouble uh, finding these, these um, uh, the quizzes uh, you know, later on in the semester when they're not uh, listed down at the bottom. So here, for example, is uh, the 9.2.1 uh, quiz. And, uh, and so that's how you get to that. But anyway, let's go back to uh, chapter nine and uh, let's go down to project number four. And so in this project, uh, we are supposed to write a program that does this uh, complex arithmetic, um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and complex arithmetic. And you know, a complex number has got a real part and it's got an imaginary part. And uh, in, in sometimes uh, in some, some disciplines, we indicate the imaginary part with, a, with an I. In other disciplines, we use a J. But uh, there's, there's a real part and an imaginary part. And um, when, you add, when you add them, uh, you simply add the real parts together and you add the imaginary parts together. And this one gets, you get zero. As a real part and 7.5 is imaginary. Uh, if you were to subtract uh, a, a, a complex number from another complex number, you just subtract the, uh, the real part from the real part and the imaginary part from the imaginary part. When you multiply, it's a little bit more complicated, uh, uh, and I'll show you how we find that out. Division is even a little bit more complicated. Uh, absolute value is actually pretty easy. So, uh, so I'm going to start out by uh, creating a. Um, I want to create a. Uh, let's see. Let me. I have a new. A blank. File here, which uh, is going to end up being. Let's see, right here, and uh, and then I'm going to run it. Uh, so, um, all right. So, we have to go to exercise 19.5. Uh, in this chapter to s get a better description of the extra of the uh, pro pro programming assignment. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to copy this. This is what it sh supp supposedly should look like. It's not quite right. Uh, so I'm going to put a comment up here, paste this in, and end the comment. Now, um, just to let you know, the issue is, for example, in this case, we don't want it to look like this. It actually should look like this. Oops. It actually should look like plus with a minus right here. Okay, that that is really uh, what your output should look like uh, for you to get all the points. So. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you actually try to do this it this way, it ends up being a little bit more complicated because you have to test to see if the if the number if the imaginary number is positive or, or negative. Uh, because if it's negative, then you don't you don't output a plus sign. You output a minus sign. But really, you always output a plus sign. And then if the imaginary part is negative, you, you just put you just uh, display it out this way. So anyway, I'll get back to that. Um, let's go and look at. Um, Exercise nine nine point one five. So let's go back to the table of contents. 
And let's scroll down to uh, chapter nine and go to uh, programming exercises from the book. Make sure I'm recording here. I am recording and I am sharing my screen. Very good. Uh, so if we go down to uh, 9.15, 9.15, Five. Here it is. Uh, oh, they give us all the. They give us all of the. All right. So um, I'm gonna. Um, and the absolute value looks like this. That's that's great. And so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to design a class named called complex, and we have to. Um, we have to overload these operators, the addition operator, subtraction, multiplication, division, and absolute value. We have to overload them, and we're gonna overload the string operator too. Um, and to, and provide a constructor, and we're also supposed to uh, provide, we're also supposed to create this get real part, get imaginary part methods uh, for accessing the real parts and the imaginary parts of a, uh, of a complex number, it turns out we don't really need that. Um, but anyway, um, it, 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 the output should look like this. Now, th this is a better description of the output because it, it does what I, what I said earlier, okay? This is really what the output should look like. You'll notice that this is different than, than what we had before. It's different than, than this, okay, so. Um, now, I'm gonna, uh, regarding Overloading these operators. Uh, it's, yeah, I'm going to come back to this page. References. Can I copy this? Let me just see if I can able to copy this because this is pretty important. Copy. Let's see if I can copy that into here. Mm. Okay, and when we see a two, we actually mean squared. When we see a two, we mean squared. So I'm just gonna put here times C, and I'm gonna put here times D, and I'm gonna put here times C, and here times D. All right, so this is how we do those, now let me, there's one more here, right? There's an absolute value, this. Um, so let me just put um, absolute value, which is um, ABSA is equal to, um, ABSA, uh, where A is, a, oh, oh, no, A, oh, A plus BI. I think this is the right way to express it. Equals um, A times A plus B times B uh, to the, 0.5 power, which is square root. So that should take care of that. All right, so, so these are the formulas. Uh, now, let me just go back. Okay, I, I'm gonna copy this too. Copy, oops, darn it. Copy, and if I can paste that into here. I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. All right. Now, um, you're probably wondering about this. Basically, what we are doing is we're overriding those. If we go back to 
here and we go to about um, nine. We go to about <clears throat> overload, operator overloading special methods. We're talking about here, th these here, operator overloading, uh, operator operators and special methods. So if we want to uh, modify these operators or make them so they do more than what they what it comes with Python, then we create a method like this, and we uh, define it, and it's gonna it's gonna actually overload. We'll be able to use this method by using this infix operator uh, here rather than the um, functional functional representation like that. So um, and down here is a good way to test that. See here we've got uh, some simple ones. Here we're actually overloading this. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to copy this out here. Copy it. Copy and I'm gonna paste it in uh, right down here. And uh, by the way, it, it, it depends on your text editor, but you're, you, you really wanna uh, make sure that if you're using tabs, you're consistent, if you're using spaces, you're consistent. So I'm gonna retab all these. All right, this, this, with this little example here, we're actually able to create, let's copy this and paste it over here. And we're able to, um, here, uh, this class is for a circle, okay? So it represents a circle. And uh, so we can declare an object of this class, and here's, and the, the, uh, the uh, parameter, or the argument right here, is the uh, circumference of the circle, construct a circle object. or whatever it is. Maybe it's the diameter, I don't know. But um, so, so here we're constructing a circle uh, with, the, a, with use, passing in the argument of four, here's passing in the argument of five, and then here we're adding the two. And this, this returns the, the solution to that. And then this is, this is here, so here we're actually overloading the addition oper, additional the plus sign, and here we're, over, we're overloading the string uh, function, the str function. Um, this is just more or less uh, syntax here. It's not. It's not clear what this this is. Uh, uh, but let's um, let's go to the assignment and start making the assignment. Okay, so we're, we're going to create a class named complex. So I'm going to say complex. And uh, let's see. I'm going to put my notes up here. And uh, complex is going to take in two variables. It's going to take in a real part and an imaginary part, like this. A, a real part and an imaginary part. And, and this AB creates a complex number that looks like this. Okay. And, uh, and the default is going to be 0 and 0 for A and B. Uh, and we'll, we'll wait on this. Turns out we don't really need that. So uh, we've got an A equals zero and a B that equals zero. And uh, self of it, we don't need these, do these hyphen things or these underscores. Uh, a is equal to A and self B. B is equal to B. That is this A and this B. And um, and then let's define the string operator output here. I'm going to put that up here. And for that, uh, I'm I'm going to just display out. I'm going to return a. Okay, it's got to look like this, yeah. 
So first I have to display out that, the left parentheses, then I have to display out um, a string version of self A. And, and the reason we put self here is this is a class from which objects can be created. And so here, here we created two objects here of this class type. And so when we want to refer to an internal uh, variable here, uh, uh, property, uh, we, we prefix it with self. And then when this thing actually gets instantiated into an actual object, the self will be replaced with, uh, you know, this or something. It's the, the, it's, it's the name of itself. We don't have to use the word self here. We can use anything, but the self is a very appropriate uh, uh, name for that identifier, which, which means you're referring to your own internal self properties here. So this is a parameter that's coming in, and this is, a, this is a, an internal property called A. Uh, and uh, so we're, we're, we're taking the parameter that comes in and assigning this internal variable uh, property to that value. And here we're writing it out again, and so now I, that, and then I need to uh, include a plus sign, and then I need to concatenate that with a str of a self b, which is the imaginary part, and we're going to throw in a little uh, i there, i or imaginary and then close the parentheses, close this parentheses, and then we are done. Okay, now, this is the, this is what you put to get the right answer, okay? So this is not gonna look like, I, I'm, I'm repeating myself here, it's not gonna look like this, it's gonna look like this, okay? All right, now for uh, uh, adding, let's, let's, uh, so, so what I'm going to do to start out with, uh, you know, I was, I was kind of, I was sort of at a loss when I started this. So I'm going to start with, um, let's see, what was this? No, I don't think I needed that. So, so I'm going to start by searching for Python complex number class. And what do I, what comes up? All right, here's a nice um, starting point. So it turns out we don't need that. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy this thing. Copy. And I'm gonna paste this thing. Actually, I'm just gonna copy this part here. Actually, I've already done that part. I'm gonna just copy the ad. I'm done. With, I'm I'm done with the with the printing out the string also, but I don't have an ad, so I'm gonna copy this, copy, and I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna put that in place here. Oops. Paste. You notice now these are tabs and this is just a bunch of spaces. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna fix that at the end. And so here we're returning self. And here we're calling this additional one RHS for right hand side. That's a that's a fine variable name. And so you recall here we're adding we're adding a plus c, and that's the first one. And then we're adding b plus d, and that's the second one, and that's the imaginary part. So here we're doing uh, so it's really just a plus c and b plus d, b plus d. So this is uh, this is a so um, r h s is the c and the d. That's r h s. So r h s a is actually the C, and R H S D uh, B is actually the D. So, so this adds the real parts of the two operands, and this adds the imaginary parts of the two operands, and that's all that we're returning here: the A plus B plus uh, A plus C uh, plus that that. So, um, so let's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this now. And I'm with one tab, and this is two tabs, and I have now enough to do a plus b. So, 
So I'm gonna, um, oh, 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 I need to add this part in there, okay, I gotta put that in. So right here, I don't really need this part. So we're gonna do, um, uh, let's see, A equals float input quote, um, end quote. And this is going to be B equals float input this. And this is going to be, uh, oh, and then I got to do um, uh, the first number can be um, complex one, C1, complex number one equals complex A comma B. So this will, this will create a new instance of this class called complex and we're gonna name it, create a new object of this class type. It's gonna be called C1 and C1 is gonna be constructed from this real part and this imaginary part that we just read in here, we just input. So that's for C1 and C2 and then we're gonna do, uh, that's the second part, second, and this is the second, and this is gonna be C2. Okay, now we're done with this. All right, and then, then, then we're gonna output, um, uh, let's do C3, okay, this is what we're adding, right? And, it, and we're just gonna try out the add. So C3 equals, equals C1 plus C2. And so, and we're going, we're overloading this plus operator, so so it's going to be able to add these two complex numbers, and then we want to display out this thing. So I'm going to say, um, print, print, uh, string, string of C1, and that should print out this at the uh, plus. String of C2 equals string of C3. Okay, so, so this string, when we call strc1, we are overloading the string operator and, it, and it's going to display this out. Why don't I just show you that? I'm going to just show you that. I'm going to say C1 equals that and C2, C2 equals that and C3 equals that. Okay, so let me save this and let me bring up a command prompt here, CMD. And uh, we got here, let me do a CD um, desktop, CD complex. Oh no, never mind, here I am. DIR, and there is my program. So I'm gonna do Python complex PY. And what's the first number? Uh, 3.5. Second number is 6.5. Third number is minus 3.5. The fourth number is one, and it says, C1 is equal to that, let's compare it. C1 is equal to 3.5, that's that. Minus 3.5 and one, that's that. Oh, look, there's a, a decimal point there, that's okay. And then zero and C3 is zero, zero plus 7.5 I. Okay, so, that, so that's what that looks like. Now really what we should be displaying out is not something that looks like that, but it should be, um, Looks like this. Okay. Uh, string string of C one plus quote plus no 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 comma C one comma plus comma S T R C two comma equals comma 
strc3. All right, so that, that should do it. I don't, so now I don't need these. And now let's run this one up arrow. Uh, one, two, three, four. And we get this plus this equals that. Okay, that looks correct. Very good. Okay, so we've done the addition one. Uh, let's do the subtraction. Subtraction is just copy paste, and this is going to be sub, and this is going to be uh, minus, and this is going to be minus, and this is going to be subtract, subtracts. And uh, let's, uh, okay, so this is addition, this is do subtraction. Uh, minus, minus, minus. Let's run this one now. One, two, three, four, and we get. Da, 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 looks good. Okay. All right. Let's do a multiplication. Multiplication is this. Wow. Okay. Let's make that one now. So I'm gonna comment this. I think I said pound sign. I think it's, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, uh, oh not here, not here, not up here. All right, let me just uh, do this. And this is going to be, what is it called? Oh. Mull, mull. Mall. And it's going to look like this here. Let me just grab this. And we're talking about this one here. Multiplies. Um, okay. Uh, so we can probably do. All right, self A times, oh, I'm just going to do that. Um, product, product, P R O D, no, product real equals self A times self, no, uh, self, no, no, um, oh, times RHS A minus self B times RHS B. Product uh, imaginary part is equal to um, self B times RHS A plus uh, self A times RHS D of uh, B. Okay, so I'm just going to say that uh, uh, C equals R H S A and D equals R H S B. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so that would be um, this is uh, self A, self B times R H S A. And so A time, okay, that. And so then we're going to return simply prod real and prod IMG AG. Okay, and let's uh, see what this does. 
Uh, this is times, and this is times. Okay, save, uh, run, and I'm going to do 3.5, 6.5, minus 3.5, and 1, and we get, how does this compare with uh, what we have up here? And we have um, 0, comparing with this here. We've got 7.0 and 5.5. This is the same as this. And this looks like this, minus 18.75, minus 19.25. That looks pretty good. All right, multiplication works. Let's do division. Division. Oh my God, look at this. My God, man. All right, uh, let's do um, division. Copy paste. It's called true div. True division, whatever that means. Okay, and this is month divides complex numbers, and it's going to look like holy master shoulders. This. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, see what we got, see if that works um, right in here. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, this is okay, and this is okay. So, first, I got to compute this. Uh, I'm going to say. Uh, Denom, denominator. The demon is uh, C is a RHSA, right? RHSA, right hand side A, times right hand side A, times right hand side A, plus, oh, plus RHSB times. C plus C, no, I mean C times C plus D times D is RHSA times RHSA plus RHSB times RH. Okay, so that's, now I got the denom. Then I got to do this, um, this top part here. So, um, for, so let me, so then I compute this and divide it by denom, and then I compute this and divide it by denom. This is denom right here. All right, so I'm going to say uh, the real the real part, real part equals uh, self a. I'm doing this now. Self a times RHSA plus self b times RHSB, all of that divided by DNOB. And the imaginary part is imagine part equals, it'd be this, BCAD. So uh, uh, self B times RHSC minus self A times RHSB. That divided by DNOM. And then I'm going to return the real part and the imaginary part. Okay, that's true div. So it should look like div. I'm overloading the divide operator. Well, it should look like that. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, 3.5, 6.5, 
um, 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 minus 3.51. Uh, and uh, denom is not defined. The hell? Demon. Demon. Denom. I spelled it. <laughs> Denom. 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 All right, let's try this. All right. Um, one, two, three, four. Looks like that. Ooh, still wrong. Complex has no attribute C. C. Uh, C. C is actually A. So I put A here. B, A, B, A, B. That's probably right. Let's try this again. Real quick to see if there's any. All right, so let's try it on the data they give us. 3.5, 6.5, minus 3.5, and one, and we get that, which is, uh, let's see, how close are we? Uh, the 19.5, zero, zero, minus 0 0.4339, so that's pretty close. Plus minus one nine eight one one three. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And the last one here is oops, we have this absolute value thing, which looks more like this. Uh, where what's this? Oh, okay, here we go. Ooh, all right. So um, <clears throat> we want to uh, do another copy, and this time we're going to do ABS. And so we do ABS, right here, this is the last one, ABS. And it's gonna be um, this formula. Uh, finds absolute value of complex number. Um, I don't think we need this. I don't think we, we aren't passing in anything. Just doing it on itself. And it's gonna be this thing right here. That's gonna put that right here. And we don't need any of this. And we have, um, so we let's, we can just like return, I guess. We can just return, well, A, B, S, O, L, A, B equals, Um, self A times self A plus self B times self B, all this, oops, let me make sure I'm still doing it, doing this. Is um um oh that uh to the uh square root square root eight. and then we don't need any of this and we're simply this is a, a this is just a, a floating point number we're returning a b okay so then to test this we can go um, c three equals uh, a b s c one. And this time we're going to print something a little different. We're going to print first. We're going to print this vertical bar here, and then we're going to print the strc1, and then we're going to print the vertical bar again. Uh, equals, uh, and then we're going to display out c3. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, 3 3.5, 3.5, 6.5, 3.5, 6.5, uh, minus 3.5, 1, and we get this. And so what's the last one here? It is something like 7.328. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. All righty, so uh, I got to go to work.
And I hope this helps. You should be able to uh, load that up and uh, turn it in and I uh, hope you get all the points. So thanks for watching.